Well, hello there. Ireland, of all places in this game, has lots of potential to be a really fun place to play as. Unfortunately, in the base game, there's not really a focus tree and they're really weak, so you can only do so much, but this new mod might fix that. Might give us some more entertainment in the process of playing Ireland. So yeah, we'll be playing as the Irish Free State today. But yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> seems to have a lot of cool events, specifically with interacting with Britain, of course, and Northern Ireland, so we'll see exactly what all happens there today. Looks like we have four different paths. Revive the monarchist cause. Um, <laughs> joining the allies under the dual monarchy, hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much I want to do that one, but oh no, fuse the kingdoms. Oh wait, no, oh wait a second, oh. Okay, well, I see what this is. This is like some good old EU4 personal union stuff, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds like a really good idea. I don't know, fusing the kingdom. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like an uh, them annexing us, but you know. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll end the trade war. We better be not really nice to England then. This mod also recognizes the fact that Ireland is technically kind of an autonomous dominion at this point. We have a pretty bad political power modifier here. Hopefully that goes away soon though, because that means we can't really get political power while doing a folk hit. Also, the dual monarchy thing isn't just like a free, really overpowered thing too. We have to make Britain want to accept. And then we also have to get 49 factories as Ireland. We have three states to build in, so. So it's gonna be pretty hard. I don't, I don't even think you can get that many factories in these three states, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Also through the Irish Economic Advancement, Act, we can decide if we want to focus on construction, research, production. I think we'll go with construction just because we really need those factories if we even want a chance at unifying with the UK. Okay, in an opportune moment, this is kind of a chance to weaken ties with the UK, remove some of that autonomous dominion modifier, so we'll go ahead with that. I was saving up for a silent workhorse, but removing that modifier slightly increases the political power we get more than the silent workhorse would. So we can either make small, substantial or huge investments in the future, and I think I'm just gonna go with huge, of course. Now I'm like never gonna get a silent workhorse, but uh, it's it's fine. Maybe it's really good, whatever happens. We also got three sibs through that focus, and now I'll go do this focus, which will give us another 10% civilian factory construction speed. Right now it's a little bad though. We are on 50% consumer goods, so that's not the best. But things should turn around as we do some of these focuses in the main political tree and remove some of our bad national spirits that we currently have. Oh, and a small minus 40 political Political power for three more sieves? I'll take that. Uh, the political power game is completely lost, but it's just such a good deal, I can't resist. Okay, and it looks like the IRA is rising too, so I'll have to deal with that. I tried weakening them as much as possible, so hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, they don't seem that strong. Communists. And we have a ton of divisions from this, wow. Oh, but they, they do have divisions though. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, instead we landed up in this port here, which we're going to hold, and we pushed them a couple times here, we might just break into their capital too, but we'll also naval invade from the side. Okay, there we go. Now we'll overthrow the free state too. That might lead to another civil war. Oh yeah, so now we're the great kingdom of Ireland led by this guy, Francis Stewart. Nice flag. I don't really think of a blue flag when I think of Ireland, but still, it's still nice. We're well on our way to maybe unifying with the UK. I don't, I don't know. Go ahead with the focus for now. We're still quite a few factories away from the 49, but it's possible. No, and democratic supporters are making a resistance. That's not good. Okay, so they launched a civil war. Still think we have the entire navy, yeah, and air force, so we at least have that. We don't really have enough divisions to try to invade them. I guess I can make two new ones. We can try something there. Maybe we can try to make some artillery divisions too. And with the king in Britain too, doing the entire dual monarchy thing, I guess we kind of get a new leader here, yeah. Kind of having a difficult time defending here. Also, I don't know. I guess we can't call allies to arms because we're not the leader. Maybe Britain will ask to join eventually and help out. That'd be nice. Probably not necessary, just because we control most of the mills, so we should be fine, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Having the Navy was a really big boost there, but yeah. Now we can focus more on just getting that factory count up. Factories keep disappearing every time we go into a civil war though, which is not fun. And due to our position in the Allies and the UK's great opinion of us, they handed over Northern Ireland, which is another five factories, another nice core for ourselves. We're well on our way to the 49 that are needed to establish the legitimacy of the dual monarchy, I guess. I guess we'll probably just stop trading, even though we kind of need the trade just because it's more important for us to just build factories and then establish the dual monarchy and then after that it depends. Oh, oh no. <laughs> At least I made an intelligence agency so we can start rooting out resistance up there. And we moved the army up there and we have enough compliance that we can remake Northern Ireland a core, so that's good. In 50 days they'll be back. Also Germany declared on Czechoslovakia, very stupid of them, but they're not our biggest concern. Right now our priority is establishing a dual monarchy and then we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> okay, this is really weird now. Okay, so the US declared war on the French Commune. So now the US is kind of in the Axis, but they won't join the Axis because they're democratic. Italy joined the Axis too. Poland deceded Eastern Poland, but they also own half of Latvia and Estonia. So yeah, this is quite something here today. We're, we're just gonna go help out in France for now, slowly try to take over the UK and hope there's a Canada for us to take control of when we establish the dual monarchy. Hopefully we do. With the war starting now, we can go into total mob, which as a country with such low manpower, that's a terrible idea, but we just really need to get the factories. Okay, and France is unfortunately falling. The Soviets are involved in the war too, and they're, they're against Japan. It's just, it's kind of getting out of hand. India is also kind of falling apart. Well, once we fuse the kingdoms in six factories time, then we can maybe do something, I think. Oh yes, hear ye, hear ye. The Kingdom of Ireland has formed the Kingdom of Britain and Ireland. Ah, oh, beautiful. Amazing. Remember to, you know, like this video and uh, subscribe to uh, celebrate. But yeah, yeah, it's it's a great time, yeah. Even a shaky is here to celebrate. I'm, uh, I mean, I definitely didn't make a couple videos as a VTuber, that's fake news. That never happened, never happened. But yes, very beautiful. We have a lot of factories now, 226 factories for the small price of 49 factories. A lot of dockyards, 54 dockyards. That's that's pretty good, that's pretty sexy right there. We can maybe build a navy once we research some tech. Because right now, right now we're not building anything. Besides convoys, lots of, lots of convoys, ugh. So yeah, great, we've inherited quite the mess though. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a nightmare to try to fix. Ugh. I don't even know. What, what even are our divisions? What's even going on? Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to uh, change Britain's strategy now that I've taken control of them. <laughs> We're not gonna focus on America at all besides holding a few key ports. Other than that, I don't really care too much just because right now it's not a good idea to go after them. They're really strong and they're only gonna keep getting stronger. It's, it's just an annoying thing. Germany, however, is at war with Poland and the Soviets and it Italy does have a lot of divisions in southern and central Africa, but in northern Africa we're kind of just walking through here, so we're going to have the Mediterranean offensive. Oh yeah, and we have the UK's focus tree now too, so that's that's great. Yeah, very, very fun. Guess we'll do their industry tree, sure. <laughs>
Anyways, well, D-Day was kind of successful. We at least didn't get pushed out. But however, the big front in France, along with the front in North Africa, along with the front in Central and South Africa, Italy really couldn't defend themselves. So now, <laughs> one major in the X is, is dealt with. It's unfortunate how much of a strain it is on trade and stuff to have the US, not in our faction, but I've been building destroyers and destroying the US's submarine fleet, and after taking out Italy, we have plenty of resources now, so things are going a lot better. It's only a matter of time before Germany falls, and then we have other places to deal with, but unfortunately, that's where I have to end it off today. It's kind of weird where we are right now, considering we started as Ireland. Really interesting playthrough, though. I would definitely recommend this mod. Really cool path. I wish there were more mods that did stuff like this, too. It makes playing a minor country more interesting. And I guess I kind of would have enjoyed, too, just playing as Ireland and being a really strong miner to help AI Britain, but AI Britain is just kind of terrible. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.